According to emerging reports, Sony Semiconductor is considering mass-producing a full-frame 4K single photon avalanche diode aka SPAD sensor that features a global shutter and incorporates their advanced two-layer transistor pixel technology. At first glance, this sounds like the beginning of a new era in image capture. But as discussions unfold, so do technical caveats, practical limitations, and a swirl of conflicting expectations, especially regarding whether this sensor could power the rumored Sony FX3 II. Let's explore what this sensor is, what it might mean for filmmaking and photography, and whether it realistically fits into the future of the FX3 series. SPAD sensors operate differently from conventional CMOS or CCD sensors. They detect light at the photon level using LiDAR principles, meaning they can sense and measure single photons of light with extreme accuracy and speed. This makes SPAD technology particularly suitable for low-light applications, time-of-flight cameras, depth mapping, and scientific imaging. One of the biggest advantages is their incredible sensitivity and potential for true global shutter functionality, meaning every pixel is exposed at the same time, eliminating motion distortion that's common with rolling shutters. In professional filmmaking, where high-speed motion capture is often required, like in action scenes or drone cinematography, global shutter sensors are highly valued. So on paper, a full-frame SPAD sensor with global shutter could seem like the holy grail for filmmakers. Despite the appeal, most analysts and camera enthusiasts agree that we're not likely to see this sensor in the Sony FX3 II or any mirrorless-style body in the near future. The primary reason? Power consumption. SPAD sensors, particularly at full-frame size and 4K resolution, require a significant amount of power to operate efficiently. That kind of energy demand is usually feasible in machine vision or fixed Cinerig setups, but not in compact handheld cinema cameras like the FX3. These cameras are designed with mobility and battery efficiency in mind, two areas where SPAD technology, at this stage, struggles. There's also the cost barrier. Global shutter sensors are expensive to manufacture, especially when combined with high resolutions and full-frame coverage. Sources estimate that a 24-megapixel global shutter sensor could cost around $6,000 alone, far beyond the pricing range that the FX3 II is expected to target. The more likely scenario is that the FX3 II will receive an upgraded version of Sony's Exmor T sensor. This is Sony's new two-layer transistor pixel tech that is already being praised for its improvements in readout speed, noise performance, and dynamic range. Essentially, this technology separates the photodiode and pixel transistor into two stacked layers, giving each component more room to operate efficiently. The result is faster data readout, better low-light performance and higher dynamic range, all critical for video production. While the Exmor T sensor won't offer global shutter capabilities, it does come with significantly reduced rolling shutter effects compared to previous generations. That alone could be a major win for creators who need cinematic quality in a compact and more affordable package. Even if power and cost weren't issues, SPAD sensors come with their own set of technical challenges. Unlike traditional CMOS imaging sensors, SPAD sensors can only hold a few photons at a time. That means they need to reset frequently, and during these resets, incoming light is essentially ignored. This reset period reduces the overall quantum efficiency QE, of the sensor an important factor when assessing how much light is effectively converted into image data. In theory, SPAD offers greater sensitivity, but in traditional imaging, this is undercut by its reduced ability to collect light consistently during reset windows. This makes SPAD great for applications requiring single photon precision, but not necessarily better than conventional sensors for everyday imaging, at least not yet. 
This explains why some experts believe that while the technology is impressive on paper, its real-world application in general-purpose video or still cameras may be quite limited for now. It's more likely that Sony will implement SPAD in specialized tools like machine vision systems or possibly high-end cine cameras like the Venice series, where weight, cost, and power aren't as tightly constrained. Many users pointed out that expecting a global shutter in the FX3 Dassault is unrealistic given its market positioning. The FX series, particularly models like the FX3 and FX30, are aimed at solo creators, indie filmmakers, and run-and-gun shooters. These users prioritize portability, battery life, and affordability. Adding a sensor that could cost nearly as much as the whole camera doesn't make business sense. One comment summed it up well. The new FX3 II is far more likely to get an Exmor T sensor, and that's not a bad thing. With a stacked architecture, faster readout speeds, and cleaner high ISO performance, this upgrade will deliver significant real-world improvements without venturing into unproven or impractical tech. That doesn't mean the global shutter SPADI technology will never see the light of day in Sony's cinema line. In fact, many believe it's headed for the Sony Venice lineup or potentially a successor to the FX9. These are cameras meant for high-end productions where image quality trumps concerns like size and cost. The Venice series, especially when paired with the Rialto extension system, is already a favorite in Hollywood and could benefit immensely from SPAD's unique strengths in global shutter capture and low-light performance. Given the current timeline, though, such a sensor in a product-ready state is likely years away. It will require more development, better efficiency, and a price tag that aligns with market expectations. Until then, expect Sony to refine and expand its Exmor T offerings across both Alpha and FX lines. The rumored full-frame SPAD sensor from Sony is a glimpse into a potential future where cameras achieve unmatched sensitivity and perfect global shutter performance. But for now, that future is still taking shape in labs and industrial systems, not in your average filmmaker's gear bag. As exciting as the technology sounds, the upcoming Sony FX3 II is almost certainly going to stick with the proven path. Leveraging Sony's Exmor T stacked sensor technology for improved speed, clarity, and low-light performance. And that's not a disappointment. It's a practical, intelligent evolution of a camera line that continues to empower creators without overwhelming them with unnecessary cost or complexity. So while the SPAD revolution might one day change the game entirely, today's game still belongs to smart, balanced technologies like Exmor T, where performance meets practicality.